I'm visiting here today with Zynga Blake. Welcome to today's show. Oh, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. So Zynga, for the listeners here, can you give the background of a little bit of history, how you got to where you are today? I got to where I am today. Well, um, I was born in Maryland. My family is from West Africa, from Sierra Leone. Um, And my mom has some roots as well in Nigeria. And so um, I was born here in the States, but I lived in Tokyo, Japan growing up for six years. I lived in Maryland again, and then I moved to Nairobi, Kenya for three years, which was wonderful, so beautiful. I loved my experience living in Kenya. And then I came back to the States when I was 13, lived in Munster, Indiana. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, And then I came out here to go to UCLA. I, I got accepted into the film school. And that's where I did my studies. So I'm a Bruin. Go Bruins. <laughs> All right. It, 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 so, so since graduation, what have you been working on? So interestingly enough, I I studied filmmaking, um, specifically scripted and unscripted television production, um, because I saw that there, you know, reality TV was going to be big, right? Mm-hmm. But I also saw that television was going to be big. And, you know, with the emergence of technology in the digital space, we saw that all of this, I had to be, I had to be entrenched and knowledgeable about how to, to produce content. Um, but uh, as I was doing my senior thesis project and auditioning people, I met a manager, and she wanted me. I thought I was gonna, you know, have a manager as a director and a writer, but she wanted me to be in front of the camera because she's like, "I love your personality. Let's get you in front of the camera." And I was like, "Okay." So I started hosting. I was uh, one of the first human humans to co-host a show on Cartoon Network. Really? Yes. It was called Fridays. And it was kind of like an interstitial show every Friday night. Um, kind of like a TRL for cartoons. Mm-hmm. And it was incredible. I had such a fun time doing it. And uh, that took me to Atlanta once a month. So throughout the, my downtime, I would also be doing commercials, acting on other television shows, and also writing. Um, then I got the incredible experience to be a host, writer, producer on Al Gore's, uh, network current TV. And that's where I really honed in on my skill sets as a content creator. And also honing in on the idea that we could actually use content to affect social change, to inspire social change and social impact. And so I started thinking about my brand, you know, what does Zingo about? And I was like, I'm all about inspiring social change through arts and entertainment. Mm -hmm. And because I traveled so much in the world, I'd always been really interested in finding ways to get um, makers. I love makers. I love the creative goods industry. And I wanted, I did a lot of research on the United, Nation, the United Nations Commission on Trade and Development. And I was looking at untapped markets, like in Africa and Asia and Brazil. And I was thinking, gosh, I really want to work in this space. How can I, how can I elevate artisans around the world, right, through the use of content and also giving them a platform to showcase their talent? Um, so that's something that I've been working on. That is my passion. But I've also been working in the space of um, doing social impact campaigns, right? C- creating content around documentary films um, that deal with animal, um, um, animal rights. Um, also doing, I directed a campaign for the United Nations International Labor Organization, uh, which raised awareness about human trafficking and ending slavery because it still exists today. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've done, I also did, a, I founded a campaign when, during the Ebola crisis and I just knew that this was my, my space, right? Um, and so I have also been working on developing a lot of projects, scripted projects that are entertainment based, right? It's like, it's all entertaining. It's fun. I love comedy. I love addressing social issues through comedy, but I see the importance of also um, supplementing that content, whatever it is, if it's a TV show, if it's a film, it, it comes with a social impact campaign because I like to raise awareness about certain issues like mental health, like um, affordable childcare, because I am a mother. I'm a single mom. I'm a divorced single mom. And I see the needs of a lot of single parents. So I, I do see myself 
uh, in the impact space, which is why I'm down here and, you know, meeting people and um, looking at how we could create more venture capitals for content creation because storytelling is extremely, it is extremely, extremely, extremely important for any business, you know? <laughs> You're an amazing individual with so many diverse <laughs> experiences. Absolutely an entrepreneur. Yes. When, uh, uh, by the way, I love your dress. Thank Very you. Very colorful. Thank you. Uh, and do you have any involvement in fashion design too? or? Yes. Um, you know, in, it's interesting because when you go to places like Africa and India and even the Philippines, a lot of people have their own tailors. Mm -hmm. So we get to design our own unique one-of-a-kind pieces. Wow. And that's what I love to do. Uh -huh. you know, I absolutely uh -huh. love to design my own pieces, but I also love to go to other fashion designers. Mm -hmm. They call themselves tailors, but I'm like, no, you're you're a designer. You need to start seeing yourself as a designer and empower yourself as a designer. Right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and I love prints. And so I, I do dabble in that space. And actually today uh, we launched, we premiered uh, a project that I did with a Fox uh, special ops team for the Empire series because... When you watch Empire on Fox every Wednesday at 8 p.m., <laughs> yep. you see the incredible styles and fashions, you know, by Paolo Niedu. He is the stylist. And so we worked together to do a fun piece called Fa um, Empire Fashionista. And we look at a featured look of that, like a particular episode, and we yeah. show people how to recreate that look in three ways. So that's something that I'm working on as well, which is a lot of fun. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, Zinga, if yeah. a person wants to contact you for an outreach, do some uh, film produce, production produce, yeah. and documentaries, mm -hmm. fashion design, how would they go about that? Oh, you can find me on LinkedIn, Zinga Blake with an N, N-Z-I-N-G-A-B-L-A-K-E dot com. You can also reach out to me on social media at Zinga Blake. Um, and, yeah, just re reach out, talk, you know, connect. Let's Let's talk. And I also... Uh, have given keynote addresses at social impact conferences, um, you know, telling brands about the importance of storytelling because a lot of the times, you know, we've been talking to a lot of people in tech out here mm -hmm. and they said, yeah, you know, we, we love creating the products, but when it comes to marketing, we have no idea what to do. And it's like, yeah, it's, you have to really think of creative ways to make your product digestible, to market it in a digestible manner, to make it fun, to make it relevant, especially through the use of social media. You know, and also social impact. Don't forget, your social impact story is so important because you have this incredible generation of socially conscious consumers who are, you know, and I'm so happy that we are the future leaders and we do care about the environment. We care about fair trade. We care about how people are treated. So um, it's, a, it's an exciting time to be an entrepreneur, especially a social enterprise entrepreneur. Singh, I appreciate you being with us Thank today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>